Well, welcome, Phil. I know you've been here a couple of weeks now, so um, it's, a, it's a late welcome. But um, how do you feel you've settled into MK Dons? Yeah, um, I think it's been a you know a, a very smooth transition. Um, I've really enjoyed my time here so far. Um, it's not easy to to settle into a new club, you know. But I feel like you know the the, the transition was smooth, like I said, and and I'm really enjoying my time here. I think one of the one of the key things that came about after um, leaving Sheffield Wednesday uh, and and moving to MK Dons was where you were playing and how you were being used as a lone player, and that was hugely important, obviously, to you and to your parent club. Do you feel that's improved? Yeah, of course. Um, no, the, the the goal was to you know get me in a you know a more attacking role because this is where I'm comfortable. This is where I feel like I'm best. You know, I I help the team the most in in more forward positions. So this was a very big you know factor contributing to the move. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm you know I'm I'm happy with the position, everything, and you know I just want to kick on and really really you know start my my career off here at uh, MK Dons for the rest of the season and. You know, get as many goals and assists as I can as I can get. Um, it, it's been a, it's been an interesting couple of weeks for the club. Uh, players like yourself have come in, Connor Coventry and Connor Wickham, uh, but there's also been players, uh, you know, moving on uh, to other things. Difficult to be part of that, or just part of football? No, I think it's just part of football. Um, these things happen all the time. Uh, of course, it's it was it was tough to to lose the players that we did uh, lose because they were, you know full of quality um you know matt o'reilly to, to celtic um great move for him you know uh, we're gonna miss him ethan as well and uh peter but um no these things happen in football but you know we're just gonna we're gonna keep going and our goal stays the exact same um and that's to you know get promotion do you feel any sense of pressure on your shoulders with the fact that a player like Matt O'Reilly has left and he was a contributor to the goals, you've come in, uh, you know, obviously you want to score goals, so I suppose the pressure's not there, it's just a, a responsibility to maybe score a few goals for the side that Matt maybe would have scored uh, had he been there. Yeah, of course, I wouldn't call it a pressure, um, that's not the word for it, I just, I, you know, I, I just play my game um, myself all the time, wherever I go, and I think that that comes naturally, uh, the goals, the assists, they'll come if I play my game. Um, but of course, it, it is a big loss. Um, he had many goal involvements for the team, so that's definitely something that you know I'm gonna have to bring now more and more. Um, so that's definitely a, a goal of mine to contribute to to more goals and assists for this team. Um, but yeah, again, it's just it's natural, and these things happen. And yeah, just play my game, really. So I'm gonna do. season is, is being in the position that they were in on Saturday against a side like Doncaster who will get the opening goal and then the Dons find it very difficult to break teams down. Is that something that you're conscious of, that you're talking about, that you're working on uh, day in, day out? Because it seems to me at the moment, in many respects, to be the one flaw that the side has. Yeah, um, we, we have been speaking in, in analysis sessions and we're looking back at the games and obviously seeing what we can do better. Um, this is something that I feel like um, we just need to get the first goal against uh, sides like these. Get the first goal, you know, get that rhythm going, and uh, just capitalize our chances better. Um, so we had, you know, quite a few chances that we were looking likely to score. We need to bury those early, you know, if we want to put away sides like these. Um, of course, it's disappointing, very frustrating to lose um, the other day, but. Obviously, the, the the beauty of it is that we got this game now tomorrow, and we can we can put things right. There's a lot of games coming up, so in quick succession too. So that's what we're gonna do. Thanks, Theo. Appreciate your time. Cheers. Thank you. Bit of a baptism of fire for you, wasn't it, coming in and, and playing against AFC Wimbledon, and um, you know immediately the, you endeared yourself to the supporters. They were giving you a massive round of applause as you came back round the, the the pitch at the end there. It was, must be great that you've made such an impression on them so far. Yeah, no, I'm I'm very happy. It was it was uh like you said, the the supporters were were great with me um that day and yeah, it was it was something that I was I was proud of, you know, to get a standing ovation and everything. It was it was good. It was a good way to kind of introduce myself um to this team. But now the obviously I've I've played my first three games now. I have a good feel of, you know, how things are here. 
um, just around the place, game days, everything. Now it's really time to, to push on and kind of establish myself and prove myself here. Uh, you know what? I yeah, I feel like I've played all right, but I think there's there's still levels that uh, I haven't hit yet, which I want to hit. Which, you know, ultimately, um, I want to, like I said, contribute to as many goals and assists as possible. Good performances. I think there's another level that I have to hit now, um, coming. But I have to say that these first three games they were positive. Um, even though obviously the despite the loss the other day, I thought I I had a a, a good performance overall um but yeah there's there's a lot more to come now and um yeah there's a lot more to come <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah no worries what a strike against Portsmouth I mean if you weren't to score another goal in the rest of your career which of course I'm sure you will but <laughs> if you weren't to score another one with, that must be top of the list yeah no I was I was very happy with that um I, you know, as soon as I hit it, I, I kind of had a feeling it was going in. I hit it clean. Um, but yeah, hopefully, hopefully many more goals like these and, uh, hopefully many more goals in general. Uh, we saw you play, um, on the left-hand side, uh, at Sheffield Wednesday. We've seen you pop up there slightly less so, uh, MK Don's mostly playing on that right-hand side. Which side do you prefer or is it just, you know, does, does, does it not matter? You, you, you've been on both sides. Yeah, so for me, um, I like to pride myself saying I'm both footed. You know, I'm 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 quite comfortable playing either um, position. So it's really wherever the the coach puts me. A hectic schedule, obviously coming up as as Luke mentioned. I mean, you must love it just when the games come thick and fast, and you know when when it makes such a massive impression on on the league table as, as wins do at the moment. It must be great looking at it and thinking, oh, you know, another three points will, will put us right into that promotion mix. Yeah, of course. No, the the position that we're in in the league right now is 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 a very positive one. I think um, we can really look to push on now and you know continue our, our winning ways because you know we were coming from you know two two wins on the bounce since I joined here. Um, good positive performances um, and yeah, we're we're gonna look to to continue this. Our place in the table is definitely good, fifth right now. Um, so I think we have a serious shot. I've said it before. I think we have a serious shot at you know getting promoted. Of course, that's in the back of our minds, but we're gonna we're gonna take it one game at a time, and yeah, just continue playing well and and progressing.